Stacy Burger. Now on Monday you're gonna see a grocery haul, and I filmed that before this whole thing with the the supermarkets. I haven't seen what the supermarkets are like because uh, I haven't been since last Tuesday. So um, thank God I got everything before that whole thing because. I got toilet paper, I got Lysol, I got everything that's everything out. I even looked on Amazon to see, like, okay, I stock up and maybe I should check. Everything sold out. Everything sold out. It's so weird. Uh, so, you know how whenever time, every time I do a grocery haul, I go, I got to stop hoarding, I got to stop hoarding, I got a problem. I am so happy I did not stop hoarding. <laughs> I have Lysol, I have toilet paper, not as much to my liking because I'm a hoarder, but it's like I, I got enough um, to last me for at least a couple weeks, so I'm good. I mean, I guess I get it. People that are going to stay home, their kids are home, they can't go out, um, so they're just going to stock up at home. I People don't understand the toilet paper, but I get it. Like, if you're going to be hunkered down at home for two weeks, and if you've got a family... They blow their nose or they used to, I get it. You're going to stock up on all the basics. So I get it why everything sold out. Everyone's, you know, because they're all staying home. It's like if you go camping, you're going to go to the store and just pick up a lot of stuff. I mean, it's just kind of like you're camping at home. Um, and they don't know what's going to happen. Luckily, I haven't dealt with that. So I'm hoping in a week or two when I'm ready to go out again, I hope there's enough. If not, I'll figure it out like everyone else does. Uh, maybe I'll just go to a restaurant and use their toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but I've been posting things because it's like, look, everyone has their opinions about it. It is serious. I get it. It's a new virus. New viruses are always scary. This one's like a little unknown, so I get it. People that have immune system disorders or elderly people, people with allergies, immune disorders like I do, should be careful and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I make jokes and stuff, but, you know, like, oh, let's go have a big old party and let's all get infected. Which is a joke, obviously, because I'm not going to have a party. You knew, you, you know I'm an introvert, even though I act like an extrovert. I stay at home and do this anyway. So I've been doing this. All along. Everyone else is becoming just me now. Um, but I stand by all my posts. I mean, I just do. Sometimes I think, like, you know, like, I've always told people this. I, I look up to the cockroach because the cockroach just does what he does. He gets infected with stuff, and then they get immune, and they live for ice ages and years and years, and, and they're immune to everything. That's kind of like my go to. I wish I was as strong as a mighty cockroach. And so I kind of want I, I I don't really want. It's just like if if I catch something I catch something, it just makes me immune. I I don't know none of no one knows if this is if you build immunity to this uh coronavirus or not. No one knows if you build immunity. I'm sure eventually you do. I don't know. I mean to be safe, I get it. Be safe. Um, hand sanitizers, I get it. I used to not be into hand sanitizers because sometimes you could overdo it. Like, I think I told you, and I'll remind you, my mom died from this. Not the con or the coronavirus, but she, she took so much antibiotics and so much precautions that when she actually did get sick, she didn't have any antibodies to help fight the virus. So she died of a normal bacterial infection. So that is why I'm kind of opposite. Like, I don't really take aspirin. I don't hardly take anything. I might take vitamins once in a while. Um, I protect myself, but not so much. If I catch something, I catch something. I hope I catch something because I want to exercise my immune system so I have it. So when I do catch the next worse better thing hopefully my immune system strong enough to attack it that is why I am the way I am I'm kind of like that I'm not saying it's a right way of thinking that is just my way of thinking so to explain all my Instagram posts before you get all mad and and get all angry at me like oh my why are you having a, a corona party uh, to infect everyone my my parents can't handle it they're sick well, don't RSVP. Not just because I say, first of all, I'm not having a party. But 
But just because I say, oh, I want this big corona party, everyone just get infected, whatever. First of all, it's not going to happen. And second of all, just because someone holds a party doesn't mean you're invited. Like, or you don't have to show up. Even if you are invited, you don't have to show up. So I get it. If, if you're, if, when I say like, oh, let's have this big party and whoever gets infected gets infected, don't get all offended over it because first of all, I know your, your immune, uh, less fortunate people won't show up and the older people won't show up. It's, it was it's a fiction, it's a fictitious, a fiction party. <laughs> And I'm sorry if it seems insensitive, but it's 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 not to be offensive or anything like that. Anyway, I'm not going to explain myself too much. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And it's like, that's just me. That's what Instagram social media is for. You just put out your thoughts and feelings and you just do it. Because a lot of things are getting canceled. And I'm just, it's just irritating. I get that, you know, you want to be safe. But for the most part, I think events and things are being canceled, not just to protect us, they're protecting themselves. Because if anyone gets infected or, or, or death or any problems, people are going to get upset. Like, why didn't you cancel it? You should have canceled it. And they could be sued. There's libel. There's problems. Uh, they could ruin their business forever. So they're doing it kind of for their own benefit sure is it good for you know to help everyone and keep everyone safe yada 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 but you know they're canceling their event the events mainly because they're protecting themselves but whatever if things are gonna if things are gonna cancel things already so many things have canceled and postponed they're going, oh, we're not canceled, we're postponing. We're going to do it till September, October. So many things are postponed till then. Think about it. If all these things you bought tickets for are going to happen in October and November or, or September, guess what? Those months are going to be very busy. And whether you bought tickets or not, airfare, everything's going to be raised up. Things are going to overlap. So you might buy tickets for five events and it's all going to be the same day. So you better decide which one you want to go to because you can't really get your money back because it wasn't exactly canceled. It's just postponed and you're going to have to get those days off. Like no one's going to work in September and October, I guess. See, I'm looking ahead at the problems here when they postpone it. I just rather just say it's canceled and maybe say, we'll refund all your money and then we're going to, probably schedule another date and if you can make it then redo it but when you say postpone and not refund anybody's money and just like well we didn't postpone it so we just keep your money anyway so it's just a lot of problems thank god i did all my concert stuff last year this year a few things got canceled not happy about it but whatever it is, the money spent, the money spent, I just don't get the experience because I'm not going to really think that, okay, I'm going to go because whatever they reschedule it, I might not be available that day. It might not be a good day. There might, there, you, you don't know. You don't know. So, and another thing, it's, it's the money, the stocks. This is, I don't know if you know, but this is the first year I've never done stocks. This is the first year I put money, not a lot. I'm not a gambler. I don't, I don't like stocks. I don't like gambling in general, like gambling for fun, like penny arcades and stuff like that. Yeah. But I put money and oh my God. Yeah. I lost six grand, which, um, some people might not think it's a lot, but for me, it's a lot. Not only is it a lot, six grand is a lot. But another reason why it's a lot is I didn't put much in it. <laughs> so pretty soon, right now, it's below my original investment that I, I put in. So in other words, it's just, if it keeps, if the stocks go down, I'm going to lose all my investment. Because I just wanted to, 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 everyone wants to check it out. So I thought, okay, I'll check it out. <gasps> uh, but whatever. I'm sure other people have more grievances than I do. Um, I just feel bad that all the workers, like, um, my friend who works at a bar, uh, St. Patty's Day is coming up. They're going to be closed. It's a, it's a Irish bar. There are Irish bars closing on St. Patrick's Day, which is their biggest 
night, even though it's on a Tuesday. So not only is the business, local businesses who it's are already suffering, at least where I live, local businesses are already shutting down and suffering. There's so many vacancies everywhere. They're going to lose money. And then the workers, the, the, the people that make money, the, 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 the service people, the bartenders, the, 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 the chefs, the food staff, It's, I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you, you know, it's, it's just, this is a big, not only is it um, a problematic people getting sick, but I hate to say it, but most of the people get sick, get better. Yeah, they get better. And uh, not very many people died, but this is affecting us all financially in a big, big way. Some bigger than others, but this is all hurting us financially in a big way. So this is a big deal. I'm not making light of it. You know, you go to the grocery store, you hoard what you hoard. It's just so weird that this was, I was going to finally start, because you know how I, I, on my grocery stores, I'm like, I need to stop hoarding. I, I'm just one of those people that you got to, my grandparents instilled in me that you, you never know, you never know. You got to buy, you always got to make sure, sure you don't buy what you need for the week. Like, in other words, if I have a roll of, if I have like a six pack of toilet paper, I need to have two of those. And then when I get into my reserve, I need to buy the reserve. So whenever I go to the store, I'm actually buying my reserve. I'm not buying what I need that week. That's when people say, oh, you shouldn't drink that much or you shouldn't eat that much or you shouldn't do that. No, you don't get it. Like I, I don't eat that that week. That's my reserve. Like I stock up or, you know, I, I use it and give it out. But, so, but, um, I reserve. I always have, or if it's on sale, even if I need it or not need it, if it's a great sale, I'll get it anyway. So I keep telling myself, oh, I got to stop hoarding. I got to stop hoarding. This is like the store's right there. And it's not, the store's not going away. Now it is going away. So I did slow down and I wish I did slow down because you know me and my Lysol. I love my Lysol. <laughs> um, not only to refresh and everything, but I, I, I do the remote controls. I do everything, you know, it's just, that's just what I do. Um, but luckily I'm good. Like I said, I'm good for two weeks. In fact, I'm probably better than two weeks. I'm probably better than that. I'm just hoping this all dies down in a couple weeks. So I could back, go back to hoarding what I've always hoarded. Um, toilet paper, Lysol, like everything that everyone's buying and water. I will buy so much water, even though I don't drink that much, but I know I need it and I don't ever want to run out. But to tell you the truth, if I really need water, I got tap water. I got the tap water. So I'm not picky. Uh, uh, water's not that big of a deal. The main thing is the Lysol and the toilet paper. And I don't usually use hand sanitizer, but I did buy before this whole hysteria came out. I got some um, from Amazon because I've been traveling, not traveling, but working a lot and, and stuff. I thought it would be nice to have like a little sanitizer to spray. So I got like a six pack. So I have one in my purse, one in the car, one in my bedroom. I have little hand sanitizers. So I've been doing that. And I hope everyone's okay. I mean, every I'm sure everyone is. But you never know, like you get a little sick like me, I got allergies. So, and I've been coughing a lot because I was sick. Like, remember I was sick a couple weeks ago and it kind of lingered. Like I still got a cough. My cough takes a long time to dissipate. And I still got a pain in the neck, but I think it's from my strawberry stand because I, I got to open these latches are heavy. So I think I found the corporate on that, the corporate, the, the, the thing responsible for that. So, oh, but all my Instagram, calm down. Don't get all mad at me. Like, oh, that's insensitive for you to post that. Sorry. Not me to be, not mean to be, but I'm, I'm not going to be so PC. I'm going to say what I say. And when I talk, I'm not talking for everybody. I'm talking for me. Okay. I'm talking for me. I think most people know that. Now it's Saturday afternoon. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not really falling for to like stay home and bunker down. It's just a rainy weekend. It's a rainy weekend. I got a busy week of work. I've been working a lot. Um, the strawberry stand. Oh, 
Me and Tanya Danielle are going to do a, I should probably start this out with this. Me and Tanya Danielle are doing a, another live chat this month, two this month. So you're going to double bonus. It's going to be on St. Patrick's Day night. Because now no one could go anywhere. YouTube is probably the best thing. YouTube and Netflix and stuff. So come party with us. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm working my strawberry sand Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it's like a 12-hour day. However, I don't know. With this new coronavirus apocalypse, I might close up early because I might not have any customers. I don't know. But Tuesday, she's going to get here around 8, 8.30 at night. <laughs> and I usually go to bed at 9. So this is going to be interesting. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Because it's St. Patrick's Day and this whole thing, we need this. So, um, and it's going to be California time. Okay? So, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Tanya Danielle's coming over to my house. She gets off work around 8 or so. So, around 8.30, uh, California, Southern California time. So, whatever time it is, wherever you're at, we're going to go on live. Probably, I don't know if I could get to the store and get green beer in time. I'll try. Um, but we're going to do a live chat. And maybe we'll ask her questions on how her stalker is doing after we expose him. Because I'm kind of curious as well to see if he's still stalking her. As you know, my friend Tanya Danielle, if you don't know, go to my pat, my last live broadcast with her. And towards the middle to the end, that's all we talk about. She's been harassed and stalked by this guy for the past two years, slashing her tires, following her, uh, uh, doing something to her car where she can't drive it, following her, uh, plastered uh, all over where she lives, her name, address, phone number to come get her. Like, I'm talking he's dangerous. His name is Raymond Steele. Steele is S-T-I-L-L-E. He's on meth. Um, he's he even followed her to my house once. Anyway, just go. We all we all talk about it. Go to the Tanya Danielle and Stacy Burke live uh, chat that we did uh, last week um, or two weeks ago. Or expose her stalker. And I'm we're gonna ask her if she went to the police because I told her she needs to file a report because I can't do it for her. I mean, but. I can talk to the cops anyway, because I know cops. I know detectives. So I can tell them my story. And I got you guys uh, telling, just getting it out there. So hopefully we could talk about that. So that's going on. And then I might get, I might try to get Wednesday off, but knowing me, <laughs> I like to work when I can. I'll probably just wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning anyway and go to work on Wednesday. Because Thursday I got off. So it's okay. So I might do that. So stick around for that. That's going on. I probably should have started out with that. I might go out later tonight. But it's, you know, when it's rainy out, I'm not staying in because this coronavirus. That's not going to stop me unless my events get canceled. There's nothing I could do. But it's just rainy and um, it's kind of nice just to watch TV. Sorry for the, the lighting. It's overcast, and that's why it's kind of... And then there's my supplies back there. I got my Lysol, my disinfectant wipes, my toilet paper. I got my hand sanitizer. I got my water, and I got my champagne. Um, is there anything else, else, else I need? I think that's about it. And I did look on Amazon just for, you know, shits and giggles. And, yeah, yeah everything sold out. In fact, there's a... There's a, a Lysol on sale for $100. They should get busted for price gouging. I saw a can of Lysol on sale for $100. I'm like, okay, where's the police on this one? This is price gouging. But anyway, that's what's going on. I might go out for a walk. I should probably go out for a walk because, you know, Sometimes you get sick just staying inside, just getting the same Stella. You know what? I think I will. I think I am going to um, put on some normal clothes because I got my onesie on. This is actually a forever onesie. I got normal clothes underneath it. And um, 
this is real comfortable. It has like a little flap right here. It has pockets. It has feet. <sighs> yeah, and then I gotta work. Uh, I've been doing laundry for people. I just been working a lot because um, I lost a lot of money in the stocks, and I got my taxes done. I had to pay a lot in taxes because I used to have a CPA, but since I got laid off, my bo old boss used to be my CPA. But now that he disappeared and I can't find him and whatever, I had a I went to H and R Block. I probably should have went to my friend who who does taxes but I didn't want to bother them and plus I don't like to shit like eat you know what I mean like if I don't like going to my friends because what if they make a mistake and then you know how do you tell your friend like uh you made a mistake in my taxes I'd rather pay someone else I could get mad at and not ruin a friendship I don't like to mix business too much with uh, friends and stuff so I went to H&R Block <laughs> $500 to do my taxes. Maybe that's normal. Maybe I've been in the bubble. I don't know because I had a CPA who was a friend who would do it for like 80 bucks. <laughs> I even told them that. They go, wow, you had a good friend. I go, I guess I did it because my taxes are very simple. I mean, I go to work. I collect all the stuff and I bring it in and, I, and basically I give them my old taxes. I go, all it is is pretty much cut and paste. I do the same stuff. And I'm sorry my nose is red. It's because I wear sunglasses and everything, and I don't wear makeup. And when I go out in the sun or when I'm out and about, my nose, because I have a big nose, kind of, and it, it just sticks out. It just sticks out. When I wear makeup, it's it's I mute it, but when I don't wear makeup, you could really see. I should probably wear, like, sunscreen just on my nose so it, it becomes the same color as the rest of my skin. But anyway, that's, I just wanted to put my head in and say, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I'll probably film more stuff. But we'll be live on uh, Tuesday, 17th. On, you know, I'll probably be tired drinking my beer or whatever. We'll be chatting away. And then just remember that, you know, I'm just going to. I'm going to be a mess the next day, but I'm doing it because I want to do it because it's, it is St. Patrick's Day. It is a holiday. I do want to celebrate. Um, and I, I want other people to enjoy something since they can't go anywhere, you know? So this is my way. So join me also on my OnlyFans because there's a lot of things that YouTube has been uh, blocking and getting rid of. They're getting rid of a lot of videos. So whenever they give me a notice like they blocked a video for whatever reason, I will find it on my external hard drive and I will post it up on OnlyFans. So, and, you know, it's really I, it's really cheap there. I got, I, 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 I post there more. On my OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com backslash Stacy Burke. If you go there, I post a lot more there because um, I'm able to do more there. <laughs> so anyway, just poking my head in. Uh, I'm just going to edit this and post this up. And then I think I'm going to put on some normal clothes and go out for a walk. I'm kind of getting cabin fever. It's either the coronavirus or cabin fever. And right now I have cabin fever. And I don't know when I'm going to do another grocery haul because, like, you're going to have one on Monday, which is the 16th. But I'm hoping this hysteria calms down so I can go to the grocery store and do you uh, and do another grocery haul. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. All right. To all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace.